At the Shuttleworth Foundation, we are looking for exceptional and extraordinary. We're looking to fund people who are not only brilliant, but also um, have three things that they have in common. One is an insatiable passion to change the world. Two is um, they work in the area of education, technology, and leveraging technology for access to knowledge. The third thing is they care about open and they believe that open can deliver faster and better the solutions to the, the world problems that we have. We at the foundation have been around for 12 years now and we've made a lot of mistakes along the way. We did do quite a lot of traditional funding. We funded some very good solid work that had lots of wonderful benefits for the specific people that we were working with um, but we always found that the funding dropped off as soon as we um, left the picture and as a funder you're always looking for something that makes systemic change. You don't want to um, fund something that needs you to hold its hands the whole time. So the things that we found that really flew and really, really catapulted were where there was a brilliant champion and really that has sparked um, the way in which we, we fund now. We look for exceptional and extraordinary people who are driven to, uh, to change the world. They have their stake in the ground of what they want to do and, and they will do anything to you know, in the dogmatic pursuit of, of that idea. Um, so we look to really supporting and resourcing them and their big vision as opposed to specific outcomes along the way. And the fellowship program, it's a, it's a rolling program and they have um, a few things in common. We don't have a specific, specific list of things we fund and don't fund, mainly because we find that every time the interesting things have, you know, they're not quite contained within our parameters, so we had to change it quite a few times, so no list. Um, but the things that they have in common are they're generally looking to leverage technology for, um, for benefit of access to knowledge and information and education. Um, and the thing that wraps around it is, is the word open. We work in the open world every day, but open to us is about really making development work faster, better, harder. It's about getting, getting more ideas, more excitement and more currency around a particular, um, a particular meme and making it flow faster. You could lock up your scheme in a, in a box with the best experts that you know, but you certainly can't get access to all the brilliant people around the world who are, who are having the same similar challenges that you have. So we're looking for um, two things really, the, the essence of the people. One is innovation, so we're interested in fresh thinking that adds value. Um, we're interested in not necessarily something that has never been done before, but something that you know is an iterative build, um, or a, new, a new take on an idea, and something that really does genuinely start to practically solve problems. Um, the second thing we're looking for, which is a little bit more tricky, is there's an essence within a person. Um, and I cannot tell you exactly what it is, but when you meet somebody like it, you know they've got that oomph to be able to really, really change the world. And that's what, that's what we're uh, asking for. The, fa the phase of which we get involved in funding is um, really, it can vary, but there is a window of when there's this embryo of an idea is starting to, starting to form and really trying to make that idea go forward. Um, so it can be that there is no understanding of whether it should have a company wrapped around it, whether it's going to be a policy change and how the idea will actually manifest itself. But really working with people and giving them space to be able to think that through and see how it, how it could come to fruition.